Welcome to Podcasting Pathways for Disability Services. I'm your host, John. Today's episode is episode 5 in season 13. Season 13 is all about using the technology of podcasting to smash the ableist paradigm. Today's episode is entitled, Ditch the Disability Label, Build on Abilities. Given what we've covered in this season on smashing ableism, and knowing we can use the technology to record anyone in any situation, What would a season look like if we focused on people's abilities and not their deficits? I'll focus on the 10 episode season and their benefits to show what's possible. Serialised podcasts allow disability services to delve into complex topics, develop narratives, and foster listener engagement over an extended period. A 10 episode season offers a sweet spot providing enough room for content exploration without listener fatigue. However, crafting a compelling season requires a well-defined format that structures the narrative arc and guides listener expectations. This exploration delves into various formats that can be effectively utilised for a 10-episode podcast season. The Deep Dive This format focuses on a single, overarching theme, providing an in-depth exploration across the 10 episodes. Each episode takes a specific facet of the theme, either chronologically or thematically, and has a look. Experts, interviews and case studies can be woven into the narrative to offer diverse perspectives and enrich the content. Pros. Now, the deep audience engagement with a well-defined topic allows for a comprehensive exploration of complex subjects and creates a sense of cohesion and narrative progression. The cons are it may limit appeal to some listeners with broader interests, requires a topic with enough depth to sustain the 10 episodes, and can feel repetitive if not approached with a creative storytelling technique. An example, well, a 10-episode season on the NDIS, perhaps. From onboarding to steps through the system to current changes and updates would be ideal for this treatment. The different roles within the scheme, from service coordinators to advocates to support staff, would be of use to the new service user, and a refresher for the older hands. An addendum episode could be produced whenever there's a major change in the operation of the scheme. The Interview Odyssey This format centres around interviews with individuals whose lived experiences forms the basis of the season. Each episode features a new guest, offering a fresh perspective and fostering dynamic conversations. Pros provides a platform for diverse voices and perspectives, offers an engaging and dynamic listening experience, and guests can attract new listeners interested in their expertise. Cons requires strong interviewing skills from the host to maintain listener engagement. Finding and checking guests can be time-consuming, but that's not really an impossible thing to do. Maintaining thematic cohesion across diverse interviews can be challenging. An example of that would be a 10-episode season exploring overcoming depression for those with the lived experience. And you could substitute depression for any theme you wish to follow. This style of season would focus on the efficacy of the individual and those who have and continue to support them in their life's journey. The lived experience being key to avoiding the ableist sentiment creeping in. The narrative arc. This format utilises storytelling techniques to create a serialised narrative that unfolds over the season. Each episode advances the plot, introduces new characters and keeps listeners invested in the outcome. This format can be particularly effective for investigative journalism, true crime or fictional narratives. I've always thought the 1930s radio style season, written and performed by clients, would be an absolute smash hit. If anyone else thinks so, email me and we'll make it happen. The pros of this is that it creates a highly engaging and addictive listening experience, fosters a sense of community amongst listeners who follow the story together, and offers flexibility for creating for creative storytelling and complex themes. The cons are it requires meticulous planning and scripting to ensure a cohesive narrative, may alienate listeners who prefer a more episodic content, and the success of the season hinges on the strength of the central story. A 10-episode season following a client as they decide to start yoga would be a good example. Episode 1, discussing why they want to start yoga. 
Episode 2, getting their team on board. Episode 3, finding a yoga teacher. Episode 4, exploring possible positions and so on for the rest of the season. I think it's a winner. The Local Lens This format focuses on the history of a specific location, organisation or event, delving into its cultural tapestry, significant upcoming events and unsung heroes. Local historians, residents and archival recordings can be incorporated to create a rich and immersive experience. The pros of this are that it creates a sense of community and pride for local listeners, offers a unique experience on broader historical narratives, and unearths less-known stories of forgotten figures. The cons are it may have limited appeal to listeners outside the specific geographic or cultural event area, requires thorough research and access to local archives, and striking a balance between factual accuracy and narrative flow can be a bit of a challenge. An example of this sort of thing would be a 10-episode season exploring the history of a disability service for an anniversary, say, 50 years since founding. It might be possible to talk to the founders, or at least their children, definitely long-term clients, staff, former CEOs, etc., with a look-where-we-started-let's-see-where-we're-going sort of vibe. Another example would be the world of fiction. This format utilises sound design, voice acting and music to create a fully immersive fictional narrative. Each episode advances the plot and deepens the listener's connection to the characters and their world. This format allows for exploring fantasy, science fiction, historical fiction, well, any theme, really. Pros are, it offers immersive creative freedom and limitless storytelling possibilities. Creates a highly engaging and interactive listening experience and can attract listeners with pre-existing interest in the show, chosen genre. Cons. Requires significant production skills for sound design and voice acting. May alienate listeners who prefer non-fictional content, so clearly they wouldn't be the target audience. And the success hinges on the effectiveness of the writing and sound design. An example of this would be a 10-episode season set, as I mentioned before, in the form of a 1930s-style radio play. Detective, superhero type, solving mysteries or saving the world from some sort of catastrophe. It would be fun to do. Email me if you're up for it. Link in the show notes. The ideal format for your 10-episode podcast season depends on your chosen theme, target audience and storytelling goals. By understanding the strengths and weaknesses of each approach, you can create a compelling structure that engages listeners and delivers a satisfying audio experience. You can build upon the strengths of your people, promote first-rate entertainment, and build skills in your client base that have nothing to do with their diagnosed condition. If you'd like your service to build upon the abilities of your people through a podcast, and think training one of your people may be the way to go, JMPS can assist through the JMPS Group Coaching Program. After six months of the Group Coaching Program, you will have at least one 10-episode season live, and all the knowledge and creative drive to create ongoing seasons. You'll be, in effect, set up for success. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, click the link in the show notes entitled Dreamer to Podcaster. Thank you for listening, and we'll be back with the next episode real soon. This has been a JM Podcasting Services production. Link in the show notes.